1.19 has some good seats, and I have a video to show them to you. Oh, sorry, that's outside. You don't go outside. For more piece bonds, cool base seats, and everything in between, here are 25 seats that are perfect for your Minecraft world. But before we get into that, only 1% of my viewers actually wash their hands. Disgusting. So if you do wash your hands, make sure you're subscribed as your proof. If you're into the Survival Island Challenge, then this seat is perfect for you. There's no signs of civilization absolutely anywhere other than the shipwreck that is on the edge of the island. From here, you only have three other islands to work with and one forest. But what's pretty cool about the seat is that in the middle of the big island, there is a heart-shaped lava lake. And you don't see that very often. Now, this seat is something out of the ordinary. Not even 50 blocks away from the spawn, there is a woodland mansion. And if you head to that mansion, there is a village, a ruined portal, and Bob's house. Which, by the way, if you go to Bob's house, the roof has collapsed. It's also deep underground. And if you go deeper underground, you'll find yourself a lush cave that leads into a deep dark. Also, the blacksmith is in the Woodland Mansion, so you have to fight your way to get to that insane loot. Since the 1.18 update, the world generation has been tuned down slightly, so the huge caves from early on aren't common anymore. But finally, we found an infinite cave for 1.19. It's so big, in fact, that a two-minute video of someone flying through the cave didn't even allow them to reach the end. But before you explore Mother Nature's vast hole, you might want to check out the village that's only 250 blocks away from the spawn to loot and gear up. Having three unique structures in one spawn is extremely rare, and this scene has that. A pillager outpost, a mansion, which is also built into the mountain, and a village, all within 50 blocks of each other. Imagine showing all the ladies your pillager out. Now, are you looking for a cool sea for your base? Well, imagine this. A city or large base building on an island surrounded by a huge moat of water. Well, with this seed, that's what you can do. And in the center, there is a ruined portal, so you can get some easy loot. Ah, but Jaden, why haven't you given us a seed with the Asian sea? Look at this idiot. He built an igloo on a steep hill. Idiot. Ancient cities are usually pretty hard to find since you have to find them underground, but you can access this one without mining a single block. Just go down the surface cave for a minute and you will stumble upon one of the most dangerous structures in the game, your mother. And there's some insane loot in these cities that will definitely help you out. Every major update, Microsoft adds seeds to the front of the game menu, and one of them has been found so far. This seed, although very simple, is very close looking to the old generation of Minecraft, so it's a nice little throwback if you want to. Plus, there are two villagers close by that you can explore or set up in. If you've ever played the early days of Minecraft, then you probably remember the Farlands, a place that was millions of blocks away from your spawn and only a few people have ever traveled there. But with this seed, you'll actually kind of be able to see it in 1.19. Although this is an exact replica of the Farlands, it looks pretty close. And if you can make the journey, I'm sure the base potential here is quite outstanding. Sometimes world generation doesn't work like it's supposed to, creating some interesting structures to spawn. But I bet you have never seen this. On this seed, a minecart spawns in a spawner, and I bet if you turn this into an XP farm, it would look pretty cool. Now, for those of you who are looking for some cool seeds on the water, I have something special for you. Now, this seed isn't out of the ordinary in terms of natural spawning structures. However, close to your spawn, there is a really cool pirate cove, which you can build a pretty crazy base out of. Not only do you spawn directly next to a pillager outpost, but there are two villages super close by. The closest one sucks, but the other one is kind of interesting. This one is built directly on top of a zombie spawner, so you can make an XP farm super close to the surface. If you are looking for a stack seed, then this is the best one for you. First, you should go check out the village that is super close to spawn with one blacksmith. If you go ahead and mine under that village, you'll find a spider and a skeleton spawner as well. Then if you travel over to the big mushroom island close by, there are four ocean monuments all at each corner of the island. That's a bit ridiculous. Then if you mine under this mushroom island, you will also find a triple cave spider spawner that is super close together that you can easily turn into an XP farm. Something that is really cool and people don't get to experience often are flower filled biomes. Not only does this seed give you a flower forest, but it's encircled by a meadow hill, making it a super cool build location. There is also an abandoned village, a normal village, and a mansion all close by. Have you ever seen a world split apart by biomes? Well, I think it's something you have to see firsthand. In a portion of this world, the biomes don't mesh well together and they just end. It makes a really cool sight to see, and there's a woodland mansion not all that far away. But before you go to check out that mansion, make sure to go to the desert village that is close by to gear up first. 
Are you feeling lazy? Well, perfect. This seed has a village, a pillager outpost, a ruined portal, and an ancient city, all close to spawn. And there are two other villagers that are also in a close walking distance as well. Plus, if you want to take the extra journey, you can also find a woodland mansion that's not all that far out of your way. It's the perfect seed to play with friends on a server. Speaking of servers, if you ever need a high quality server at a good price, make sure to check out my sponsor, Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting is someone I use even before they sponsor me because their servers are just so easy to set up. It's also the provider I use for my viewers SMP server that I stream live over on twitch.tv slash realjaden. Uh, what's the server name and server address? Yeah, it's uh, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Plus, if you use the Apex link in the description, it helps support the channel. There is just something about cliff seeds, so here's another cliff seed for you cliff lovers out there. Not only do you spawn next to a huge cliff, but it's also a part of a large mountain as well with the village fairly close by, and it provides a lot of world potential. And if you really want, there's an ancient city not all that far away. Survival islands are always super cool, but what about ones that just have a jungle? On this seed, you spawn on a pretty large island with a jungle that overruns it. Close by, you can find a second island with some cool looking features as well. Ever want to be a real pirate? Well, try it out on this seed. This island only has a village and a broken down pirate ship, so you can quickly take over that village and then grab the treasure that is also located on the same exact island. Now, if you're looking to troll your friends, you need to give them this seed. This is easily the worst seed in all of Minecraft history, since you literally spawn in the middle of nowhere. The only thing that you're able to do once you are there is just swim into the vast ocean of nothingness. Sometimes structures will spawn things that they just shouldn't. For example, this pillager outpost spawned with 9 cages. That's way more than the normal 1 to 3 amount. Plus, all the cages have an iron golem, so you can either get a bunch of iron, or you can get an iron golem army. Trying to find Asian cities are annoying, and at the same time, keeping track of where they actually are once you find them sucks. Well, on this sea, the ancient city is literally at 0-0, zero, zero, the very center of the world, so you will never have to wonder where the city is. And if you decide to make a base out of it, it's in the very center of the world. Now, I want to challenge you. Conquering an ancient city is easy for some, but can you conquer five? This scene has five ancient cities, all within a 1000 by 1000 block area. And to top that off, there are two woodland mansions and a village in the surrounding area as well. You can never have enough villages in your Minecraft world, and in this seed I'll prove it with 7 villages all around spawn. So you can go ahead and loot up real quick and then pick one or two villages that you want to make your base in. Now this seed I had to include because it was so beautiful. You spawn on the edge of a cliff overlooking the ocean and on one side you have a snowy mountain and on the other side you just have a valley mountain. And it just looks so cool and the bases you can build out of this have to be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, make sure to comment watermelon to have a chance to get shouted out like Connor did at the end of this video. And you might as well go ahead and watch another video. Enjoy!